All right, hey guys, so the Steam Winter Sale has finally begun. Today is December 22nd, and it lasts until January 2nd. Basically, about 90% of the Steam store is on sale. Most games are between 50 to 75% off, so there's a lot of good deals going on. But before I go into the sales, I just wanted to mention that the holiday cards have been released. They're called the Steam Awards cards, or the Steam Awards badge. You get these from a variety of different ways. The first way is to vote. Um, every day you can vote for a different category, and every time you vote you will get a holiday card. The first category is Villains Most in Need of a Hug, or Villain Most in Need of a Hug. I voted for Borderlands 2 because I think Handsome Jack is a great villain. Um, I was thinking about voting for Portal 2, but I decided to go with Borderlands 2. Um, and that earned me a Steam Awards card, and I'll go through those in a second. The second way to get cards is to scroll all the way down on the front page. There's a little box right here that says get two free trading cards by participating in the Discovery Queue. The Discovery Queue is basically just... Um, it basically just shows you 10 random games that might be that you might be interested in and you go through each one of the 10 games and you can add it to your wish list or you can say not interested or you can just uh, click next and queue and once you go through 10 games it'll uh, give you another trading card and you can do this two times so if you go through it 20 times or 20 different games you will get um, another card. Um, so before I do anything else, I just wanted to start crafting some holiday cards because I think that would be kind of cool to uh, watch if you uh, are wondering what they look like. So let's go to our badge page. And here's the badge page. I'm very, very close to level 210 as well, and that was um, something I really wanted to get um, today. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. Here's the Steam Awards badge. You get these cards for doing the three things I said. And you also have a chance to get a foil card, which you can sell for quite a bit. Um, but I'm just going to be making the normal badge. And there's not a level cap on, on this badge, so you can craft this as many times as you want. But I'm going to go for level 10. I think that is a good amount, and then I think I'll just sell all the rest. Um, but here we go, just uh, crafting the badges. I always like watching the cards go in a circle. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but we got a background. Well, these backgrounds are strange. These are some really weird emotes and backgrounds. We'll have to go through those later. Alright, so that was level 1. Here's level 2. It might take me a little while to go through all of these. Um, there's a level 2 one, and here's another background. Test of time background. These are very, very strange emotes and backgrounds. Normally, oh, I just got the level 210 as well. I love that this change is now like a red box. I didn't like the gr like the gray box around the uh, level 200 badge, but uh, what was I saying? Um, it's They're really weird emotes and backgrounds. Normally, during the holidays, they have winter-themed um, emoticons and backgrounds, but this year they seem to go... Um, in a very odd fashion, making some very strange backgrounds and emotes that I wasn't really expecting. Level 4, getting uh, some duplicates. Like, what is this? 2016 game in game. What? <laughs> They're so odd. The good thing about the backgrounds and emotes that you get from the holiday badge is that they're all worth a hundred gems if you choose to convert them into gems but what that really means is that they're all they all retain their value you can easily sell any background or emote for at least 10 cents each which is kind of nice although these cards currently are worth between i would say between 9 and 12 cents they'll probably go down with time um, but of course the first day of the sale is usually when they are the most pricey All right, we're on level seven, a few more to go. Level eight, I'm getting a lot of this background for some reason. <laughs> level nine. Oh, this is cool, a trophy. I like that one. I like that emote. Um, and then this one. I don't think I'm getting any like rare ones or any like uncommon ones. They all seem to be more or less the same. There's always like one background and one emoticon that are kind of rare to get. And I keep getting this cat. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There's a level 10 um, Steam Awards badge. I think I'm just going to stop there. 
Um, personally, I don't want to spend too much money um, getting a high uh, award badge. I think level 10 is fine. That's usually my goal is either level 5 or level 10 each uh, winter and summer sale. Um, so now let's go to my inventory and let's just check out the backgrounds and what we got here. Um, so let's go all the way across. I have a lot of things I need to sell. sell. Um, all right, here they are. So, whoa, dude. This is a common one. Like, what kind of what kind of background is that? Who in the world would want that? It looks creepy and just strange. At least to me. Oh, crap. It's going to make me go all the way across every single time I do that. All right, so I won't do that anymore. Let's see. So this is the second one. This is another common one. I'm going to open it up in a new tab. Like, what the heck is that? It, it's not even, like, Christmas-themed. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a bit turned off by these backgrounds. I don't know who the heck would want to, like, use these. And the third one is this. Oops. View full size. There we go. This one is a little bit more Christmas-themed. I kind of like this one. But the rest were just like, what in the world's going on? And then we did get some emotes as well. Um, I'm not sure where the emotes will be located. Maybe at the end. Probably at the end. I just wait for it to load. Come on. Come on. Oh, maybe it's not loading. Okay, there they are. So I got this thing. I don't even know what you would call that. Got a cat. I'm not crying. And we got the trophy. These all seem to be common. And we got a uh, flower, which is uncommon. So I guess the flower is the best that we received. Um, we could go to the Steam store really fast and check out the rest, the Steam Awards. All right, let me look here. All right, so here's a list of all the backgrounds you could get from crafting the badge. I did get most of them. I think I missed two, so let's go ahead and check out the two we missed. I think we missed this one as well. Uh, so let's open these up. Um, I don't even know what's going on here. This is so strange. And then the other one is here. Let's uh, see that. What in the world? This is the rare one. This is the rare background. It's very psychedelic, but I mean... I just don't see why anyone would want to use that. Very, very strange. Let's look at the emotes. I know I'm missing a couple emotes as well. The emoticons. We're missing this one. We're just, we just missed one, which is the rare one. Um, I don't think I got this one. I may have, but I don't think so. Um, I'll have to check, but uh, it's just a face. It's not that big a deal. Just some guy. I mean, <laughs> not a big deal. So I'm just going to go back to the store page, and I guess I'll just go through some of the sales. Um, I don't really know um, if there's anything like super good that pops out at me, but I'm just going to go through some of the things that I see and some of the recommendations that I would give you guys. Um, first off, City Skylines is a great game. It is probably the best Sim City style um, uh, city building game that you can possibly imagine. It is $7.50. I think I'm going to buy it. I'm not entirely sure, though. Um, the Total War franchise is on sale. I guess we'll check that out real quick. Um, Total War Attila is only eleven twenty-five. That's a good deal. Uh, the rest are a bit pricey in my opinion. They should have been a little bit lower. You could get the whole set. Total War Master Collection. Hmm, that's interesting. For only thirty dollars, I would probably recommend that. Um, Total War is a definitely a good franchise. Um, Darkest Dungeon. Nope. Um, I'm just looking for games that have good sales. I bet Civilization V is having a huge sale. Uh, $7.50, that's decent. It's not great. I would have thought it would go down to $5 because Civilization VI is out. Um, and, of course, that is the new one in the series. But Civilization V is a great game. Um, but let's go back. Just Cause or Just Cause. I don't know if it's Just Cause or Just Cause. Um, but $15, I'm probably going to buy this one. Um, I wanted to wait a little while. I was hoping that the XL edition would go a little bit lower in price, but unfortunately it's still about $21. I'm not entirely sure if I'll get the regular version or the XL edition, but Just Cause is a game that I wanted for quite a, quite a long time. Just Cause 3. Um, what else is there here? Doom. Um, let's just scroll down here. Wishlist. 
Subnautica, $10. I'll probably pick up Subnautica. That is a great underwater survival game. Um, what else? I guess we'll just go through my wish list, maybe. <laughs> Owlboy. I really want this game. It just came out, though, so the sale is not that great, but I really want Owlboy. Um, what else is there? Oh, Metal Gear Solid 5. It's $24. I think that's a good price. I'm probably going to buy that one. Uh, just Cause 3, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, and... Um, Rise of the Tomb Raider are the three games that I really want um, this year. Uh, anything else? It's not really showing me much else, so let's just keep scrolling down, and eventually we're going to get to the top seller list. A um, bunch of random games here. Um, not really anything that catches my eye. Jotun, I'm pretty sure this is a good game, although I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, it has some nice animations and such, but it's only $5, so might check that out later. Uh, let's just keep scrolling down, and we're going to go to, ooh, recommended for you, Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is, I'm probably going to buy this. I wish it was 75% off. I really wish it was, but unfortunately, it's still $30, but it is the 20-year uh, celebration edition or whatever, so I think there's some free DLC included. Um, Far Cry Primal is 25 Ah. <sighs> There's not really anything that like jumps out at you. Doom is only $20. I picked Doom up during the autumn sale for $20. Definitely worth it. I, in my opinion, Doom... Uh, I don't know if I should say this, but Doom had the best campaign out of any shooter I think I've ever played. Any first-person shooter. Man, Doom was amazing. Holy crap, Final Fantasy X is on a top seller list? I cannot believe that. I, I didn't think people would buy that game. Uh, Final Fantasy X, of course, is my favorite. I love this game to death. Um, if you're looking for a great RPG that can give you at least 50 hours of content, if not more, get this game. There's actually two games included, and they're both great, Final Fantasy X and X-2. Um, definitely worthwhile. It's uh, $18 currently um, on Steam, so I think that's a great deal. Uh, it's an old game, though, and people either love it or hate it, so do some research before you buy into it, but it's probably my f most favorite RPG of all time besides uh, Skyrim. Um, Fallout 4 is $20. That's a great deal. I wonder how much the season pass is. Um, the season pass... Is there a season pass? Oh, 30 bucks. Yeah, it's still a bit pricey. I was thinking about getting the season pass. But for 20 bucks, Fallout 4 is amazing. If you haven't played Fallout 4, if you don't know what Fallout 4 is... Just buy it. You'll love it, okay? It doesn't matter who you are. You're going to love it. Um, Planet Coaster, 15% off. This is another game that just came out recently. I really wanted to buy it. Um, but I don't know. I just can't get myself to spend $40. I'm just a really cheap person. Watch Dogs 2 is $40. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty hefty sale. It just came out. Um, what else is there? The Witcher 3, 30 bucks. I I have The Witcher 3. I don't have... I don't have the game of the year edition. Uh, I don't. I don't know how I feel about that, but I would highly recommend buying this um, if you don't have Witcher Three already. I currently have the Witcher Three, so I'm not going to buy the game of the year edition because um, I haven't even beaten it yet. <laughs> I've played through like maybe a fourth of it. Um, Dishonor Two is forty. Dark Souls Three thirty. Stardew Valley is only ten dollars. I would highly, highly recommend Stardew Valley. One of the best. Um, RPGs like Harvest Moon type games um, that came out I think this year yeah earlier this year I uh, got a lot of attention it is super the graphics are super I don't know I don't know how to describe it everything which is, is just amazing about this game it's very relaxing um, it's a lot of fun it's super addicting it's a farming game um, you may think farming is boring but this game is just I love it absolutely loved it I did a little let's play on it earlier this year so you may want to check out my series um, but I would highly suggest Stardew Valley. Uh, Dishonored, Mankind Divided, 67% off. Wow. That game came out in August. Oh my gosh. That is a huge discount. This is actually a great deal. I, I think I may buy this. I'm not sure though. I know it has like sort of mixed reviews, um, but I remember I really loved DSX, uh, Human revolution or something i forgot what the last one was called but uh dsx is a good game i think this one is more stealthy though i i'll have to look steam hardware bundle you can get the steam link and steam controller for 50 dollars. kind of a good deal um 
I still have never picked up a Steam controller. I'm a big Xbox controller fan. The Xbox One controller, in my opinion, is the best controller for video games, period. Um, the Steam controller, though, it lets you play like mouse like mouse and keyboard games that you normally wouldn't be able to play with a standard controller. So, uh, I don't know. It's cool, but I don't think it's that great. That's just my opinion, though, and I don't think I'm going to buy it unless it drops like to $25 or so. Um, which is asking a lot, but I don't really care. Abzu. Oh. Oh, this is one. Oh, I'm going to buy this. So this is like an absolutely beautiful underwater like experience. It's like an atmospheric experience with a bunch of fish and stuff. Um, it just looks great, and it's super relaxing, and it has a good soundtrack, and it looked amazing in my opinion. And look at these reviews. Overwhelmingly positive, recent, very positive. Um, and it's only $6 now. It came out $20. I remember it was a top seller for quite a, for quite a while. Um, so a 75% off sale is amazing. I'm going to buy that for sure. Uh, what else? The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I kind of want that. The Binding of Isaac is a great game. If you haven't played it, played it, I would highly recommend it if you're a fan of roguelikes. And I feel like I'm talking way too much. Ori in the Blind Forest. I kind of want that one. And then the Dungeon. Gungeon. I kind of want that one too. I want all of these. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of video games. I like all sorts of genres. I just want every game, basically. Uh, I'm just going to look at the top seller list and see if there's anything else. Um, Ark Survival Evolved is only $12. I would recommend this for sure. It is a fantastic uh, survival game. It's like a dinosaur survival game. It looks amazing. You do need a very high-end computer to play it properly, but if you have the computer to run it, it is a fantastic game, especially with friends. If you have friends, play this game because <laughs> you will you'll be addicted and you will enjoy it, especially with friends. I played it with someone earlier this year. It was a uh, it was a joy. So what else? Dying Light is twenty four dollars. That's a pretty good deal. Um, I'm trying to see some new sales. Let's go to the second page. Grim Dawn fourteen dollars. That's a bit pricey, but I really enjoyed this game. If you're a fan of Diablo. Um, you will really enjoy Grim Dawn, and uh, I'm sorry that this video is going on for so long. Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of, you know, we're just kind of chilling, going through all the uh, sales that look interesting, at least to me. Final Fantasy, is this 9? Oh my god, I might have to buy this one. It's $10 though. Lowest price was $6.30 on 1123. What? I didn't even see that sale. If I would have seen that sale, I would I would have bought this. I recently played through Final Fantasy VII for the first time, and I thought it was amazing. And uh, I really want to play Final Fantasy IX. I think the top three Final Fantasy games of all time are seven, nine, and ten. At least in my opinion, that's what I hear from people. Like whenever you ask someone what's your favorite Final Fantasy game, it's usually nine, seven, or ten, or sometimes sometimes twelve and sometimes 13, uh, depends on their age, I guess. But uh, I really wanna get Final Fantasy IX, so I'm gonna think about it. I don't know yet. I may wait until I get some money. I'm not sure. Um, Seven Days to Die is $10. That's a great zombie survival game. It's a it's more of a co-op survival game, though, so you really need to play this with a friend to enjoy it. If you don't have friends, uh, it's not that great single player. Unless you get really immersed into the environment, then it might be fun. What else is there? Arma 3 is 20 bucks. I'm not a big fan of Arma. It's more of a military simulator. Kerbal Space Program is only 13.59. That's a good deal, but um, the, the Kerbal Space Program, if you don't know what it's about, it's about building rockets and launching um, spaceships into outer space and like uh, exploring planets and stuff, but it requires a lot of knowledge and a lot of time. It's very time consuming and uh, it's a huge time investment. If you're looking for a game to spend like hundreds of hours in, Kerbal Space Program is good, but just remember you have to be very smart and you have to uh, spend a lot of time researching and learning the mechanics. Mostly, most people just build a rocket and it goes wrong and then it comes back and blows up and that's entertaining enough for them. But uh, I don't know, it's it's a fun game. Hyper Light Drifter, 12 bucks, nah. If they're too expensive, I kind of just pass. Valve Complete Pack for $22. I 
I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but I would highly recommend getting Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2. They are currently... What the heck? They're currently like $1.59 each, which is crazy low. Oh my gosh, what? You can get... Wait. Okay, yeah. You can get them for $1.59 each. It's super low, like $2 each for each one. I would highly recommend Half-Life 2. Great game. I played it this year. You can check out my Let's Plays. A lot of fun. Even in 2016, they are amazing games. Also, I would highly recommend Portal, Portal 2, and Left 4 Dead. All of those are great, especially Portal 2. Highly recommend getting Portal 2. Um, I should probably ch I should have probably checked how much Portal 2 was. It's probably like a couple dollars. Yeah, it's four bucks. Um, all right, the four is is ten bucks. Uh, not anything too exciting. Um, I think that's about it. Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition is only eight dollars. If you can get Borderlands the pre-sequel for a good deal, I would I would suggest that as well. Uh, Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel are my favorite Borderlands games. They are amazing, especially in co-op. But even in single-player mode, you will spit. I'm telling you, you will spend dozens of hours. It is such a fun, fun shooter. Okay, um, The Witness is a cool puzzle game. Um, if you're a fan of puzzle games, you can check out The Witness. City Skylines, yeah, I already talked about that. Starbound, Starbound is an amazing game. It's kind of like Terraria. If you're a fan of Terraria or Minecraft, you should get Starbound. It's only 10 bucks, definitely worthwhile. Um, it's co-op as well and multiplayer, so you, if you have a friend, you can end up spending dozens of hours, and you can explore different worlds, and there's a, lots of bosses, and it's a lot of fun. You can build your own house and such. God Eater 2 Rage Burst is only 20 bucks. I don't know anything about God Eater. I haven't seen the anime series. I think it's an anime. Um, I'll have to check this one out. I don't know anything about this game. There's also an Attack on Titan game that I want. Oh, Undertale is only 5 bucks. I need to buy this game. I've played it, but I, I didn't buy it. So I definitely need to buy it. I will uh, consider buying it right, right now. Undertale is a great RPG that came out this year. I think it's won many awards. Um... It's very, like, retro, but it's very uh, emotional, and uh, it's one of those games that has a great story, and it's very interesting, and it's a lot of fun. And look at those reviews. Great reviews. Um, so before I... Okay, Terraria is $6. a great game as well. Uh, I was going to say, before I talk for too long, I think I'll probably just end this video here. Dragon's Dogma, 12 bucks. Tales of Zestiria... 1250. I played this. I played Tales of Zestiria earlier this year. I would not recommend it. It looks great, but it's a huge grind, and the story. I don't know. It's it's very slow. It's a very very slow paced game, and it has some very it has like a very cringeworthy story and characters, and they seem to talk more than you fight. So. <laughs> I don't know. It's not the best, but I mean, if you're a big fan of RPG games, I would recommend it. Um, Gary's Mod, five bucks. Insurgency, two bucks. And that game has been released for free quite a few times, I think. Killing Floor 2 is $22. Oh my god, that's so expensive. I want Killing Floor 2. I played the open beta or something like that, and it was a lot of fun, but I'm not paying $22 for it. It's a, it's more of like a co-op zombie survival type game. Um, that requires a lot of grinding, but it's very rewarding, and uh, it's a good game. Sorry, I just hit my mic. Um, okay. I'm getting tired of talking. <laughs> There's a lot of good sales going on. Pity 2, $5. Dragon Ball Xenoverse, 25% off. Um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the first one, is probably has a good discount. I would highly recommend the first one. I did a whole Let's Play on that last year, and it was a lot of fun. Or I think it was last summer I did that. Um... And I think that's about all I want to talk about today. I'm going to look up a few games, though. Oh, Slime Ranch, that's a good game. Anyways, uh, so Attack on Titan, this game came out recently, and it's made by the same people that created Dynasty Warriors, W-Force, Omega. Um, they're a great, I think they're a Japanese studio, but they're a great studio who makes a bunch of hack and slash games, and I love most of their games. So uh, I really wanted this one, but it's only 40% off, and it, it's $36. That's a lot. Um, I'm going to wait until that drops to like 20 or so. And then another game that I wanted to look up, um, and I'll show you why. If you go to search, just give me a second here. If I go to search, and then I search by user reviews, um, you can see the one at the top is called Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. 
And this game, for some odd reason, has the highest ratio of positive reviews. If you scroll down here, you can see that it has 1,024 positive reviews and only five negative. Five negative, that's crazy. And the reason why is because it's never had a sale. Um, actually, I think it had a sale when it first came out or earlier this year or something, but it's never had a sale since then. And that's that's why I think it's gotten so many positive reviews because people who buy games at full price are more likely to leave a positive review. And where am I going with this? I just want this game. I feel like it's missing from my library. I need the highest positively rated game on Steam. Uh, so that's one I kind of want to check out. Um, oh, the Portal Bundle with Portal 1 and Portal 2 is only four fifty. That's only 50 cents higher than just getting Portal 2. Um, yeah, it might be a good idea to go through this list with the user reviews um, showing you the highest ratio of positive and negative reviews. There's a lot of good games on here. Fact Factorio, great game. No sale, that's disappointing. Uh, I would highly recommend Factor Factorio. That game came out this year and is super addicting. It's like a, uh, it, it, I don't know what you'd call this, a resource management game, a base building game. You build these crazy contraptions and it's kind of like a tower defense type game. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, what else? Is that it? I think that's it. Uh, One Finger Death Punch is a good game. I need to stop talking. I need to end this video. I'm too addicted into video games. I can talk about games all day. There's too many games to buy, too many games. So uh, yeah, that was just, I guess, a fairly quick overview of the Steam Winter Sale. Um, I hope you guys will vote every day to get your holiday card, and I hope you guys explore your Discover queue to get your additional two cards. And then at the end of the sale, I hope every one of you that watched this video well, at least craft one holiday badge because if you get three cards every single day, uh, you can easily get enough cards to craft a badge. If you don't get enough, you can sell the cards and buy more cards on the market. All the cards are, of course, sellable. So uh, if you don't want to craft a badge, just sell the cards, get like 30 cents every day, and uh, yeah, you'll be able to buy a few games. And uh, I should also mention one more thing. I know a lot of people don't know about this, but if you go to the Steam store and you if you look it up by lowest price and you click on games, you can go to like, I think it's like the 20th page. If you keep going like on and on, it's going to take me a while. You can go to the lowest price games and you can get games with trading cards for 50 cents or less, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. So if you are really tight on money and you don't, ha you don't know what to buy, um, I suggest doing this and then you can find some good games for for uh, 50 cents or less, which is uh, good. Very good. Man, how long? There's so many like free-to-play games that were released recently. It's really hard to find the actual uh, buyable games. Oh my god, this list goes on and on. I'm sorry guys, just give me a second. Give me a few more seconds here. I'll get to them eventually. I wish you could just search by page. There's so many games that were released this year. Um, I think it's the... I mean, most games release ever a uh, crazy amount. Like 40% of the games that are on Steam are uh, re were released this year. I cannot seem to find it. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe I should search with uh, trading cards. Oh, I'll have to start from the beginning. Dang it. Well, curses. I think that's what I messed up on. But uh, just bear with me. You might just want to skip through this. Um, I don't really... Uh, plan out my videos. There we go. Okay, so all you have to do is search by Steam Trading Cards and by Games, and you can see a bunch of games with positive reviews that are only 50 cents. So if you're looking for some cheap games that are like a short bit of fun, um, do this. Search by lowest price, and you can find a bunch of cool games. Um, there's Poop in My Soup is really funny. Um, I haven't played too many of these. Turbo Pug is pretty good, um, but there's a lot of different games, and you can also search. If you keep on searching, you can get the games that are like a dollar or so, and there's a lot of good games for under a dollar. So uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. If not, um, hopefully you guys enjoy the winter sale. I encourage you guys to go out, get a game, play as much as you can, and have fun. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking out my channel. If you want to, subscribe. If not, that's okay. Have a nice day.